What's up, everybody? Uh, welcome back. I, pretty much as usual, do not have a plan for today. I have a question. When have I ever had a plan? Uh, uh, I think I said it last time. If you came here expecting someone... I do have one plan, because I forgot to do this last time. Uh... Requires me to go back upstairs. Uh, plan would be to uh get up th to go get some food cooked. Because uh, I forgot to do that. Legitimately, I forgot. Uh, I was planning to cook it, like, start cooking it, uh, before I started the episode, but, mm. uh, uh, obviously that's not gonna, that didn't happen. Swimming up just takes way too much time, in my opinion. Oh, um... I was looking about, like, what games I should play for you guys on Steam, and I download a game, and it being who I am, I didn't really pay attention much to what the game was. It re it, honestly, I, I did look up gameplay for it. It looked pretty cool, but I couldn't exactly tell if the game gameplay was difficult or not. So, I, 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 I looked up some gameplay for it. some food. Um, and d couldn't tell, was it difficult, was it not? I, was, I had no clue. Show away and... Anything else in here I might want to take? Nope. Doesn't look like it. Okay, but it uh, didn't look difficult, but I had no clue. Still have no clue, because as soon as I download the game, I discover, apparently, um, the servers for that game are, have maintenance being done on them, so I couldn't even test the game out to play, to see if I would, I'd want to play it for you guys. Like, literally, as soon as I, as I, I start up the launcher, it's like, um, oh, sorry, uh, at, right now, on, in, that, as of blah 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 time, uh, servers are having maintenance done on them. I'm pretty sure it's a foreign game, because it had some, it said something about Berlin. I don't know if, uh, that might lead to a game I'm, I was, I was thinking of, but I don't care. But, like, you guys know what I mean? Now, have you ever had that done to you before? As soon as you download a game, or as soon as you get a game, uh, this was free, so I, I can't complain about it, like, as soon as I bought the game. But, like, as soon as you download the game, you discover, apparently, uh, that game's like under maintenance or something, so you can't play. It, this happened to me in the past, too. But, okay, on to what I was actually going to talk about. Like, I was going to talk about this and, and that, in that game, but... I have a question for you guys. Like, what was your first console? Or first thing that you played games on? I'm, I'm curious. Because for me, the first thing I played games on... Uh, w that I remember playing games on would... I'll, I'll, say, I'll say a couple things. Ow. But I'll 
I'll say a couple things. Because I, I didn't just have one. Like, my family had been... They'd all been playing games throughout, like, before I was even born. And, like, and my older brother was the one that introduced me to this. And he, he let me play for a while. When, granted, I didn't understand any of it at the time. And it was on his account instead of mine, so I had no idea what was going on. first console I ever played on happened to be, uh, that I remember playing on would either be the PlayStation or the, the PlayStation 2 or the GameCube. Like, I might have played on, on, like, the PlayStation when I was earlier, when I was younger. I just know. My family originally traded in, uh, the PlayStation we had for a PlayStation 2. Because, unlike this time, they were all always backwards compatible. Like, all consoles. Except for ones that went from cartridge uh, to disc. That made it difficult for anything to be backwards compatible, you know? Before then, we'd like we, we would if it was backwards compatible, we'd trade in the the console we currently had and get the new one. Like we'd save up enough money to our trading and would make it where we could afford the new one. And the first game I remember playing. Uh, Oh, I'm out of torches. Was there any coal anywhere? Uh, but the first game I remember playing was something, uh, I think... I think the first game I ever played, like, I personally played and tried to, to be good at. Oh, my, my problem isn't coal, it's wood and tor for tor the torches. Uh, would I would be one of the three following games because I don't remember which one. It was either a Cars bait like the movie Cars racing game on the PlayStation Two. Actually, I'll, I'm gonna name a couple because they it, I forgot about the other consoles that I played on like the GameCube. Um, that the Cars game was on the PlayStation Two. Uh. Another, another game would be Dark Cloud 2. I honestly, every time I heard Dark Cloud 2, I was like, do, do, do I need to play the first one? Does the first one have anything to do with this one? And my sister, who apparently played them, told me, no, you don't have to worry about that. And I believed her, because I was like, okay, you obviously know what you're talking about. And I still have no idea if that was a lie or not. I never did finish Dark Cloud 2. I had no idea what I was doing when I was playing it. I tried to be good, though. Doesn't mean I ever was, I just tried to be. But, when, uh, oh, or, that or an Avatar, like, the Avatar The Last Airbender, not that crappy movie, live action movie that was based off the show, uh, but, eh, I mean, the actual Avatar The Last Airbender show, and it was based off, and it was a game based off of that. I didn't really know much about it, except for that it it was based off one of my favorite shows at the time. So I was just like, okay, yeah, let's let's play. I was actually, uh, at first I sucked at that game, but then when I went back and played it later on in life, I was actually pretty good. Okay, actually no, we have acacia wood. We have acacia wood for this. But, 
Eh. Okay, that, that that's uh two or a incredible game in the or the a game on the GameCube based off the Incredibles. Like the Incredibles. I don't know. I don't remember. Yeah, I sucked at that game. I think I still suck at that game. I don't even know if our GameCube still works. I think we still have it, but I don't know if it works. I know our PlayStation 2 broke recently. Uh, but... There was other games that I played as a child, like... Uh, I played one game... It was a Monsters, Inc. based... Uh, it was a game based off Monsters, Inc. Apparently someone in mine had used... Had... Uh, apparently... I don't know if I had someone play it for me or something, but my save file was the only one that had access to the final boss throughout the entire- throughout all the card- the save cards we had. I don't know if that was on the GameCube or the PlayStation, unfortunately. But yeah, every time I played that game, I was- I could just skip straight to the final boss because that's how it was set up. That- like, that game, it, you could select the level you wanted to play as long as you had access to that level. Like, if you had beat the level prior to it, you could access it. But I, apparently at some point, either had someone play it for me, or I was really good at the game, because I was the only one that had access to the final boss. I had every level unlocked. I don't know why, I don't actually remember doing that be honest there. Like, if I remember doing it. Let's just do that. And stop it from flowing. Because... It goes up a lot farther than I, than I want it to. But, like, that, those, those were the type of things I played when I was younger. And, and I, was, I was wondering, like, what, what type of console did you guys have as a kid? Did, like, did you have an, the original Xbox? Did you have an, uh, a Wii? What type of stuff? Like, a, a Nintendo-based thing, uh, Microsoft. What type of... Uh, did you have a computer that you played games on? Like, did you... And like, what type of games? I, I I want you guys to tell me, because I don't I don't know what you guys did. I'm not you. I, I personally had experience with console games when I was younger. I prefer PC games now because it, my hand naturally sits in the WASD position. I know that's bad. I've played enough video games that my hand just naturally sits in a position to play video games. And I always get confused with console, uh, like, with controllers, because, like, they're not uniform. Like, controls across computers aren't uniform, but you can change the controls uh, to fit, to be uniform. But, uh, on a console, like, it, it'll say A, or, or it'll say, I, I, like, every console has an X button. And the game will tell you to hit the X button, and you'll hit the X button for a different console. Because I know I did that so many times. Like, I'd I'd be playing on the PlayStation after I'd finished playing The Incredibles on the, on the GameCube, because that's like the only game I ever played on the GameCube, I think. I don't actually remember. But, and then it, something, I'd have to hit the X button on, on the PlayStation for something, and I'd, and I'd move my thumb to the top, but the X button was on the, uh, was actually, wasn't on the top, so I'd, I'd hit something else and not do what I wanted to. I know I'm not the only one that did that. <laughs> God, that I have horrible hand-eye coordination. Well, at the time, I, I had even worse than I do now, fortunately. I'm trying to get rid of this pick if you haven't noticed. Dead end. I'm not the dead end king yet, though. 
uh, uh, like andesite and such that they make it kind of like an actual cave, but it also gets annoying because uh, it, it's not just. Uh, I forgot. Yeah, we can as soon as we get like uh, we may want to speed run to the Nether if you guys if you guys want to see it. Like if you want to go to the Nether, that that bad, but no. Honestly, in my opinion, I want iron armor. Uh, I want diamond, like at least a piece of diamond armor and a diamond sword before I go to the Nether. Hmm. Oh yeah, I did seal this, this area off. I juked him. For now, let's do that. And light this area up a little bit, so things aren't spawning like right beside me. And then we'll mine this. <laughs> Actually, first, I think we're close to it. Hopefully. Yeah. Uh, but I like telling you guys stories. And it actually gives me something to talk about in the thing other than the game, because it's actually kind of boring. First we'll mine this. Then we'll mine that. Oh, and now we'll mine this. See, it's boring. Mm. But, like, I, I say like, I, I, I say a lot of stuff, and it sounds so stupid, and sometimes I slip into that really stupid accent of mine. And I, and I slip into that accent where I sound so stupid that I just want to slap myself. Mm. Yeah. Kind of like just now. Mm. Except for I did it on purpose that time. Ah, there was two. Hmm. I wouldn't have been able to make it down anyway. But ha have you guys ever... Uh, like, done that with a game, you, you got so used to the controls of one game that you completely forgot about the controls of the game you're currently doing. I know that method doesn't let me get, uh... Um, flint, but I didn't really care for flint. I just wanted to check if there was anything behind it. Okay, I got everything there. Did I go this way? So, have you, like, have you guys ever done that in the game? Like, you got so used to the controls of one game that you actually thought, like, I've, I've, I've mentioned it in videos that I, like, I'd been playing too much of one game, and I went back to another one, and I didn't know any of, the, I couldn't do the controls very well because. Even though, like, I'd gotten used to them, like, two days prior. Because I'd been playing so much of one game that I no longer had the muscle memory to do it. Because, like, I, I, like I, I went back and played uh, some uh, Dying Late a little while ago to see if I was still, like, if I could still actually do it. And guess what? No, I suck. I was dying all over the place. Worse than I was when I was streaming it. Some, some of you guys never watched the stream. Uh, shameless plug, uh, if you go to the About tab on my channel, you'll see a couple links. One of them's my Twitter account, and one of them's a Twitch account, I think. I don't know if I actually linked the Twitch account. And one of them says live streams, uh, and, it and it has a YouTube symbol beside it. That'll link you to a playlist that's unlisted, but it still exists. I just put it there because uh, I didn't want the feed to be super spammy, full of, like, Dying Light, uh, now streaming Terra, now streaming Dying Light, uh, blah, 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 blah. 
So I, I just I made it unlisted. So, oh, uh, I meant to ask in the video that I was talking about. How was you guys' uh, both your weekend and your like if you celebrate Easter? How was your Easter? Because I'm not, I, I know some of you obviously don't celebrate Easter. Some people just celebrate it like they don't celebrate it for it, the reasons that other people celebrate it. They celebrate it because of a rabbit. <laughs> I don't really care. No, uh, uh, this is what I've been curious about. Like, uh, my family gave me an Easter basket this year, and and I was curious because in the Easter basket there is both chocolate shaped like rabbits and chocolate shaped like chickens. And in my head, I'm just like, can you make up your mind? What's your mascot? Is it a chicken or is it a rabbit? Like, we can make up our mind. The mascot for like children and such for for like Christmas. I don't celebrate any other holiday for that time of year, so I'm not gonna say another ho what the hell? Hey, that just, that, that looked gross. Uh, so I'm not gonna mention another holiday cause I don't wanna sound ignorant. Like my friend, he, my friend, my Jewish friend, uh, yeah, it, it, I, I don't even know how to pronounce it or say what he, he celebrates. If you're Jewish, tell me. I don't want to insult you. Granted, my friend's the type that can make jokes about things that other people can't joke about. Eh, but... Honestly, I'm lost in this cave, and I, I haven't been trying to find a way out, but I'm lost. Uh, but, like, for Christmas, we can all we could all agree, the, the mascot is Santa. Jolly big... Jolly big man with a, a red coat. Oh, that reminds me. It, I, I don't know if it's true, but apparently the new Spider-Man is black. And, uh, pe and in my head, I'm like, people were honestly complaining that superheroes were white. And even though it's not the fault of the people making the movies that they're white, it's the writers of the comics that originally made those characters white. It's like, you're not just supposed to change the race of a character just because you feel like it. Like, I could take an Asian book and then it's like, I, I can't just make the Asian dude a, a white guy because I feel like making him a white guy. It, it doesn't work. It's, it's, I don't care about political correctness, it's like, it wasn't originally written that way, so why are you trying to make it that way? <sighs> it, it, it's just my own opinion, don't take it too seriously. In all honesty, it's like, it, it, it's kind of irritating. It's like, you're complaining that superheroes aren't black or aren't Hispanic, and I'm like, they're not that way because the original character that these movies are based off of wasn't black or wasn't Hispanic. That, that like, they were, they, uh, I'm sorry to say, they were written as white dudes. It may have something to do with the time period that they were written in. I can say, my favorite s sort of superhero, it comes from Marvel, it it's the X-Men. Like, the, all of the X-Men. My favorite one in general would be Wolverine. Mm -hmm. the, like, yeah, no question is asked. If you ask me my favorite superhero, X-Men. Wolverine. Because he's, he, he, like, just... The way he is. Oh, and I saw I saw a thing, and it was trying to compare it. Um, what is it? Oh, we've only been going for like 25 minutes. I thought we've been going longer with how much I got to talk about. But it was comparing uh, Deadpool's regenerative power with 
uh, Wolverines. And it was good, and it was like, Deadpool's re regenerative power is stronger than Wolverine's because he can regenerate from nothing but his head. And I was like, Wolverine doesn't have a need for that because his head can't be cut off. He's got an ant adamantian skeleton that can't well, coated skeleton. So, what are you gonna use to cut his head off? If you find something that can cut that, please tell me. <laughs> and, and I found out, apparently, in one of the comics, Wolverine was nuked, <laughs> I think. And he regenerated from nothing but his skeleton, because inside a skeleton, he obviously had cells left. I wonder if that was like when he got shot by the adamantian, adamantian bullet. Uh, is it adamantian? Adamantium? What is it? I'll look it up later. I, like, I, I can't remember the names of, of materials and things, because I, I read way too many fantasy books where they, like, where the author d uh, differed from the normal uh, fantasy minerals, such as mithril and such, and they made their own materials, and I'm like, uh, what was, the, oh, that, that was what again? Uh, that's honestly how I am. Mm. Wait, that oh, that w it was the hardest material in the in this world. Okay. Mm. That, that's basically how I, I'm I am when I'm reading the book. Now we're looking for a way out. Uh, but so so Darcy Baka Bochi. I say a lot of stupid stuff. My ear just popped. <laughs> it was my right ear. I just like. It was like there was pressure at my ear or something, and it just popped. Maybe, maybe it was like trying to get my uh, head, headphones trying to create a vacuum or something. <laughs> hmm. Either way. But I, I read a, a lot. Like, my current <laughs> recent reading, uh, I, I don't know if it, what the, how many volumes of this series I read. I just know. Place I read it was based off chapters, and I read over 350 chapters, and that was, and then I finished that book. Another one, I don't know what the volumes are, that, because it was based off chapters. Uh, I read over 250 chapters, mm, finished it. Uh, I read like four or five volumes from one series. I'm not going that way. Uh, like. I currently have reached volume 9 of a different series. I have a couple, a, a bit more left before I catch up to it. On, and so on. Like, I'm not going to bore you with all of it, because that, that, that'd that be like, why are you such a nerd? It's like, because I can be a nerd. I can be a nerd all I want. I don't have to... I don't have to, um, conform to you. Where is the way out? Jeez, I'm lost. Oh, there's the way out. Hmm. But, it, like, I, I read a lot. Well, guys, thank you, thank you all for watching. Hope you all enjoyed.